Boom. B fam back in the house once again. E for nine TV. Going out to my fellow Ethereans across planet Earth and any other planets out there in the multiverse. That's right. I said it. There's other beans out there, people. So go and check it out. Anyway, enough of that. Today is all about NFTs. Non-fungible tokens. Now, you know I told you about these NFTs around three to four months ago. I've done around three videos. This one, blockchain is a beast. Avogadro Gaming Stroke DeFi, yeah? This one, XRP up 100%, unstoppable domains. NFTs will be huge. And this one, blockchain gaming will be huge. Engine coin. Four months ago. I hope, I just hope some of you paid attention. You've done your research. D-O-Y, do your own research. Yeah, I hope you've done your research. You went into the forest of these altcoins and you picked up some of these coins and, and tokens. And you got them in your portfolio. And you made some savage gains. I hope you did. Because right now, in the past few weeks, NFTs have been blowing up like a skyrocket going to the moon and beyond. Just like we're going to go to the moon and beyond. At least by the end of this year. Yeah? Your portfolio is going to be bulging out of its crevices. Right. This is bbc.co.uk over here in Londinium, England. What they're talking about? This is three days ago. What they're talking about? NFTs. Man, these guys are late to the party. They should have come and checked out BFAM. What are they doing? Three days ago? Man, I told you three months ago. Anyway, well, let's, see, let's see what they're saying. What are NFTs? For all you newbies out there, for all you new guys to the channel, NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Now, you're saying, what the hell is this guy talking about? Fungible tokens, non. What are you talking, what, 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 what are you talking about? <sighs> People, you got a device in your hand or a PC, go and look it up. <laughs> I ain't going to explain, go into detail, but hear what. Fungible is like a pound note in my pocket or a pound coin or a £10 note. It's fungible. Meaning, I can exchange a £10 with, with, with another £10 and it's all the same. Right? It's all the same. It's all the same. Just I'm keeping it basic. It's all the same. Non-fungible, meaning there's only a particular number of these items or products. That's it. Can't be copied. Can't be duplicated. That's the power of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin was the first that did it. It solved the double spend problem. Meaning, if somebody sent me some Bitcoin, I could not copy the same amount and make 10 copies of that and send it to other people. No, 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 no. Why? Because of the blockchain and the ledger system. But I'm, I'm not even going to go into detail. As I said, it's out there. In fact, just go to bbc.co.uk and come go to this article here. What they're talking about. A digital-only artwork has sold at Christie's auction house for eye-watering $69 million, or which is equivalent to £50 million. But the winning bidder will not receive a sculpture, painting, or even a print. Instead, they get a unique digital token known as an NFT. Where Bitcoin was held as the digital answer to, to currency, NFTs are now being touted as the digital answer to collectibles, people. Collectibles. And many more. But we're going to stick with this script right now. But there are plenty of skeptics who think it is all a bubble that is going to burst. They always think that, people. They always, they always think, look, they've been thinking Bitcoin has been in a bubble since its inception 12 years ago. They think NFTs are in a bubble. Hey, maybe they are. And it will pop. Yeah. But when it pops, it will come down at a certain level. And then guess what it's going to do? Same like Bitcoin. It's going to go up again. <sighs> Bubbles. Are we not all in a bubble? 
are we not all in our own w world whatever you know environment that you grow up in that's a bubble in itself isn't it please bubble i don't know who writes who writes these things man anyway what is an nft nft stands for as i said non-fungible token in economics a fungible asset is something with units that can be readily interchanged like money which i just explained with money you can swap a 10 pound note for two fives and it will have the same value however if something is non-fungible, this is impossible. It means it has unique properties, so it cannot be interchanged with something else. There you go. I ain't even going to go into it too, too tough. As I said, you can go and check out this article, right? It'll explain to you how NFTs works, etc. BBC, they just kept catching up in the game. As I said, I told you guys around three, four months ago. Now let's check out this. Let's check out the boys. Let's check. This is even crazier, people. Right? This is even crazier. In fact, let's just see one second. One second. One second. I mean, this is this is this is what sold for fifty million. Yeah, I know. I know. Some of you are saying, "What the pluck is that?" I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I'm going to buy it. Obviously, somebody bought it for fifty mil they see value in it i don't see value in it everybody's each to their own in it you know what i see value some people see looking at it as crap i look at it as crap some of these stuff other people see it as value i mean let's check out these guys youtube collective the boys sell roughly twelve thousand worth of feet photo nfts that's right people you heard me these these guys called the boys they got a youtube channel five of them they got their own individual channels but collectively they have a channel also and they have sold pictures of feet let's have a look yeah that's right um i guess some people out there have feet fetish um they like they like feet i mean i mean yeah i, I like my feet cuz you know i can walk you know Yo, but hey, buying a picture of a feet or of someone's foot? <laughs> oh man, I don't know. What <laughs> Yo, crypto is crazy. I'm sorry, people. This is crazy, man. It's crazy. I mean, look, 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 look. This guy sold this picture for a thousand dollars. Pogo stomped Bish Eddie the boys. Just for you, Daddy. Juicy, seven hundred sixty-nine dollars. Freddie Fast Feet Eddie. 150 bucks. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Oh, mate. This. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, mate. Uh, you know what, people? Some of some of you human beings out there are actually out of your nuts. You're out of your minds, man. You're just like, really? 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 You, some of you mortals, I'm like, oh, my days. I mean, look at these people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry, man. Look, I'm a bottom. $40. Freddy Fazfee, $80. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I'm so sorry, man. But this is what's going on, right? Like. This, this is what's going on, man, people. It's crazy. It's crazy. So people are buying this crap, right? I'm saying it's crap because that's from my perspective. Other people are looking at it as like, yeah, I want a picture of that feet. I want it. I want. I want a digital picture of that feet so I can. I can brag to my friends like, look at these feet. Yeah, look at my feet. Look, look, look at this. Look at this guy's feet. Doesn't it look beautiful? Ah, oh, people, it's crazy. I tell you, man. Planet Earth is something else out here, man. This is like. I'm lost for words sometimes. Anyway, that's what's going on in the NFT world. It's going crazy. BBC is talking about it. These guys, these Twitter, YouTube guys, big channel, big followers, they're getting on in on the game. Why? Because why? They smell the money. They smell the money. Yeah? It's the trend. It's the trend. NFTs. As I said, I told you guys a long time about it. I hope you got some of the tokens, right, that's involved. I.e., let's go for the coin market cap and show what's been happening over the last few days or the last seven days 
with some of these NFT tokens, i.e. Um, Chili's. I mentioned Chili's, I think, in one of my videos a few months back. It was around a few cents, I think. It was like five cents. <laughs> it went up to 80 cents and changed people. I think even up to 90. Yeah, This is an NFT football. For you, all you football crazy guys out there and, and ladies, you football fans, right? This Chili's, they deal with collectible cards for certain football teams like Juventus, etc, etc. Right? Go and check them out. They're going to, I think, really and truly, I think they're going to do big things, to be honest, right? I bought their token around one, two cents. Obviously, I've made a great um, gain of that. I'm not saying to get it. I'm, I'm not saying this, as I said, this is not you know, financial advice. I'm just showing you what's happening in this ecosphere. It's absolutely heinous, crazy, yeah? I mean, look, past seven days, 200%, yeah? 200%, people. In fact, let's, let's just go to the NFT section on coin market cap for all you people that don't know we click on this bit here nfts and it will tell you what's popping right now right theta boom last seven days 43 percent chilies as i said 217 engine coin oh, boy engine 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 look 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 at this video four months ago i told you blockchain gaming will be huge engine coin it was around 15 20 20 cents around that around that number and as you can see right now engine coin is two dollars 72 heinous 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 gargantuous gains and you know what it's still got plenty plenty legs to go because why this bull run is not over people we have at least towards the end of the year until the bull run may be over, approximately. If for all you people that don't know what the bull run is, or the, sorry, bull market, there's a difference between a bull market and a bull run. A bull market in crypto lasts for approximately two years, approx, give or take. A bull run is towards the end of the bull market, where in the last few weeks, the last few month or, or two, the prices of these coins and tokens will do extraordinary, crazy acrobatics, gymnastics, flips like you've never seen. You think you're seeing some gains right now? Well, I'm telling you right now, especially for you newbies, you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah? The party has not even begun yet. This is just the opening ceremony. Oh, my days. Decentraland. 122% over the last seven days. Crazy. Wax. 88%. Old, need I say any more, people? Need I say any more? NFTs are just blowing up. Blowing up like when BFAM starts the video with a boom. Why does BFAM start the video with a boom? Because we, mean, we, we are in booming times, people. Booming, booming times. Not just with crypto, with many things. It's a great day in time. It's a sun cycle. Information age. Aquarius age, whatever you want to call it, it's a great day and time. Embrace it, be one with it, and you'll be all right. Anyway, what's the latest NFT that BFAM has come across? Well, if we go to Coin Market Cap, as we are, we, we're on Coin Market Cap anyway, right? If we go cryptocurrencies and we scroll down to recently added, what are we going to find? Well, we find here. The new tokens and coins that just come onto the market, yeah? They may have been trading a few weeks or a few days before, but they've just come onto CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko and some of these other platforms that tell you what's happening, what's the latest coins in the market. Right, so if you scroll down, and boom, my neighbor Alice. Well, i got a neighbor, but her name ain't Alice, yeah? <laughs> if we click on my name, my neighbor Alice, we will see it's at $23 and it's on the Ethereum blockchain. Market cap at the moment is 409 million. Whoa, that's kind of high for a coin that's just come out or a token that's just come out. Fully diluted will be 2 billion, just over 2 billion and a half. 
volume at the moment is absolutely heinous. Oh my days. Wow, that volume is smashing it out of the cricket field. For all those people who like cricket, I don't. My dad does, but I don't. I can't stand cricket. It's one of the most boring sports out there. But anyway, this is over 2 billion in trading volume. That is absolutely copious. Copious, gargantuous, heinous. Maximum supply of these tokens is 100 million. Circulating supply at the moment is just over 17. Right, million. Right. Mm, interesting. So, let's scroll down. As we can see, boom. It started off, according to this chart, on yesterday, Sunday. And now it came out at $16. Now it's at $23. Let's go and click on the website and see what my neighbor Alice is all about. Mm. Boom. This is a NFT gaming blockchain game. Game design. It's not just a game for blockchain players, but it, it is a game that will introduce blockchain to millions of players. Right, people. So this is a game that's going to bring people into the crypto blockchain space without majority of, of them realizing about it about crypto and blockchain that's what i'm saying with this industry there's going to be so many different ways how people get involved in cryptocurrency from many different angles many different angles and gaming is just one of them and i personally i think gaming is going to bring a whole heap of people in this in this ecosphere why because y'all people love games isn't it yeah you're damn right you people love games i mean life is a game in, in itself it's a serious one but it's a game yeah we this is the matrix right virtual reality this is the real virtual reality that we're living in right now for all those who know what i'm talking about this is real virtual reality this is the ultimate virtual reality experience this existence that we live in right now. But before I go down that rabbit hole, let's get back to my neighbor Alice. Yeah. Right. My neighbor Alice is a multiplayer builder game where anyone can buy and own virtual islands, collect and build exciting items and meet new friends. This is where we're heading to, people. Right. This is where we're heading to. Virtual reality, augmented reality. This is the future. It's right here. What do you think these young youths are all about? Come on, think about it. Some of you oldies, you might not get it, but I guarantee you're going to get it soon. Anyway, inspired by successful games such as Animal Crossing, the game combines the best of two worlds. I, I know Animal Crossing. A fun narrative for regular players who want to enjoy the game play experience as well as the ecosystem for players who want to collect and trade NFTs. Even if they have no idea what an NFT is, which some of you don't. You ain't got no clue what BFAM is saying. Like, it's just going over your head. Don't worry. Take your time. You're early to the party, right? Grab a juice. Grab some popcorn. Do your research in your own time. No rush. Take your time. Anyway, key game features. And if you like the video, please go to the cupboard. Pull out the, pull out the toolbox. Pull out the hammer, come back to the computer, and smash up the likes. Right. Key game features. Avatars. Each player is represented by an avatar in the game. And players could interact with others through the avatar. Mm. Players could also modify the avatar by installing different assets to it. Virtual islands in the game. Players can either produce... Purchase virtual plots from Alice or in the marketplace. This is a scarce supply of plots in the universe, and each piece of land is represented in the form of an NFT token. Do you see where we're going with this, people? Do you see where we're going with this? Not only is Bitcoin scarce, but as I said, a lot of these tokens that you buy and trade, a lot of them are scarce. Some of them are continue 
inflationary, but a lot of them are scarce, especially when you start getting to NFTs, right? Especially with platforms like this, in-game assets. There are in-game assets then that can be deployed into the game and they can be bought on the marketplace. Amongst them, house, houses, animals, veggies, decorations, cosmetic items for the player's avatar. So just like my son, he plays Fortnite, he buys these skins, and I keep on telling him about these blockchain games. He don't want to hear. I said, all right, cool, do your thing. But this is what's happening, people. Buying land, buy, buying digital pieces in these games where you can trade and sell them for more Ethereum, right? Or more money later on down. This is a game changer. This is what's happening. Whether you like it or not, this is technology. Get with a program or get left in Fred, Fred Flintstone, Stone Age. Because that's what's happening, people. That's what's happening. Like it or leave it. Simple. Alice Token. Alice Token is the main currency of the game. It enables players to exchange NFTs, buy land, and use specific DeFi products such as collateralization, buyback, and staking mainly in the phase in the first phases of the games the, of the game development so they've they've combined DeFi and staking also so you can make money by staking the top the um, the token the alice token also you can use it as collateral collateralization so you can get money you can borrow money off it <sighs> mate this is absolutely crazy gamified finance people i'm not even gonna go into it too tough right but what drew, what drew me to this, right, is the investors. You've got some big boy investors. Sandbox, that's another DeFi. Go and check them out. They're on CoinMarketCap, right? MakerDAO, big. Anchor, big. Bella, big. Chromaway, big. Neo Global Capital, the Neo token. Go and check out Neo token. That's another block, blockchain. I think it's China or them in somewhere, right? Go and check them out. Neo they're going to do big things, right? So the investors and the partners, that's what, you know, caught my eye. Big, big, big dogs in the game. That's what I look for, right? Now, also, this particular company has been in the gaming field for quite a few years. So that's another, I can't even find, where are they? Where are we? I, I saw it, I saw it. There we go. Right. Antler Interactive. Antler Interactive is a leading game studio known for its innovations in gaming, being a pioneer in VR gaming. It is experimenting with, with augmented reality. So, the, the, so they're a pioneer in virtual reality gaming, right? Now they're experimenting with augmented reality and blockchain technology. With currently around a million players, their latest mobile games are frequently featured by Google in Google Play Store as top AR picks and by Apple as game of the day. These people, guys, whatever, are big kahunas, people. Big kahunas. So go and do your own research, check them out, see what you think. They're on Binance, by the way. And if you guys have not signed up to Binance, what are you waiting for? Binance is the big kahuna in the game. Out of when I'm talking exchanges where you buy and sell a lot of these tokens and coins. They have a wide selection of tokens and coins. And a lot of the times, any up to there you go, Alice, boom, Binance launch pool. It's on Binance launch pool, people. When these coins come out and tokens, especially with the Binance backing, they moon. They may dip at the beginning. But a lot of times they recover and they moon in the next few weeks, few months. They absolutely do some figures. Guaranteed. I've seen it so many times. Not guaranteed, but I've, I've seen it so many times because nothing's guaranteed, right? Forgive me for that. Nothing's guaranteed. But it's a high probability, you know, 89%. Right? So if you haven't signed up to Binance, there's a link in the description of this video. And let me show you right now. Anyway, here we go. Check out all my links in, in the video, right? Check here the Binance one. You get a drink, you get a few dollars in, in your account, $10, $20, whatever it is. I get five or 10, something like that also. 
um check out all the descriptions i have in the videos people because there are incentives for you all yeah you get a little kickback right also you can stake some of your coins and tokens that you buy on nexo and celsius and you're going to get passive income on your cryptocurrency also if you want to check out the best books on the planet make sure you go to unwbookroom.com or nashat.co.uk or facebook.com stroke all eyes on egypt or malachi zyorkbooks.com let me tell you something people the best books on the planet if you want to go down that rabbit hole i'm sure many of you do you will not be disappointed universal knowledge b fam's got for you here yeah universal knowledge on all stuff so go and check out those links make sure right so that's the end of the video just a quick short one i hope you guys enjoyed it as i said nfts are whooping ass get in the game get some skin in the game learn as much as you can there's plenty of other youtubers out there talking about nfts go and check them out just google it nfts DeFi. please do your own research don't believe a word from any of these youtube youtubers including bfam this is just for entertainment i'm just sharing information that i've come across i did not originate it hell no i am just sharing it with my fellow ethereans to the channel so thank you for viewing i hope you enjoyed the video watch out for some more banging videos this week i've got some big kahuna videos coming this week right so please make sure you go to your next door neighbor if their name's alice that's even a bonus <laughs> tell them about blockchain tell them about crypto tell them about bfam e for nine tv if they want the best knowledge about it tell them about my channel please and make sure you subscribe to the channel because i know enough of you have not subscribed to the channel i mean is it really that hard work to lift up your finger and press a button to say subscribe please oh my days anyway b fam peace and love and i'll see you on the rebound